Psalm 37, verse 23. It says, The steps of a good man or woman are ordered by the Lord, and he delights <laughs> in his way. Uh, go down here to verse, uh, verse 30. It says, The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of judgment. That word judgment there is justice. How many know that uh, you can speak justice? When the enemy's been coming against you and all the junk that's been going on, you have an advocate. Come on, somebody. Verse 31. The word, or the Torah, the word of his, uh, of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slip. Glory be to God. So in other words, uh, verse uh, 23 says, the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. And if we'll begin to get our mouth involved, none of those steps are going to slip. We're, we're not going to have a problem in the path, in, in, in the goals that we have for this year. Uh, we're going to line up our words and how many know those words got to line up with the word? And when we line those things up, we begin to speak our future. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants us to uh, uh, go forth and not have our, our steps slip. And the only way we're going to do that is when we begin to have a confession of faith that lines up with the word of God. Amen. That we begin to have a confession of faith in everything that we set our hand to this year. This is the year that we're going to move forward and we're going to believe God for greater things. Come on. Amen. Glory be to God. And notice it says, out of the heart we speak the word. Out, you get that word down in your heart. It's like seeds being planted firmly in the heart. Come on. In your spirit. Uh, heart and spirit are, are the same thing. And so you're putting them down in your spirit. You're getting them down here in your heart so that they come up out of your mouth. Out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth speaks. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. And then your steps won't slip. Turn with me over here to Mark chapter 4. We're going to find out some things that we need to begin to do and, and make sure we're doing them so that the steps that we take this year will lead us somewhere and uh, get us on the right track. Mark chapter 4, let's go down here verse 14. It says, the sower, the sower sows the word. Come on, somebody. <laughs> the sower sows the word. The sower sows the Logos. The sower sows the word of God in their heart. Verse 15. And these are they uh, by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. It is the job, the number one job of the enemy to steal the word you hear tonight. It is the number one priority that you don't get out of that parking lot on Sunday, on Wednesday, or even in your daily reading of the Word of God, that you don't, you know, hold on to that Word where you can apply it and get it, get it working in your life this year. Amen. It is the job of the enemy to steal the Word. And one of the biggest ways he does it is by lying to you. Well, that won't work. You're not worthy. If you try that, you know, you, you, it'll be the same as last year. You didn't do it last year. You're not going to do it this year. He'll keep going on with lies. And those lies are how he works and he operates by lying. Come on, somebody. And so uh, go down here now to verse 20. It says, uh, verse 20 says, And these are they which are sown on good ground. Everybody say, I'm good ground. <clears throat> No, I mean me. No, no, no. Uh, <clears throat> so, <laughs> good ground, such as hear the word, hear the word, and receive it. And bring forth fruit. Not just hearing it and losing it, but brings, brings forth fruit, some 30-fold, some 60, and some 100-fold. Come on. Glory be to God. Verse 21, And he said to them, Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed and not to be set on a candlestick? In other words, get that wisdom. God's not trying to hold back his wisdom. 
Get that wisdom, rise up in that wisdom, and go forth and be a light in this dark world. Come on, somebody. Amen. God wants us to begin to understand there are steps that we're going to take this year, and our mouth, our words matter. Our words contain, by faith, your future. Our words, you are the prophet of your own future. Now, you hear that, but you've got to get that deep down in your spirit. Your words matter. Come on, somebody. So, uh, go, go with me now. Uh, go with me over here to uh, verse 36. Now, they've just heard the parable of the sower. They've just heard how to work the Word to build their faith. I mean, know that faith cometh by hearing, and by hearing the Word of God. And so they've just learned how to operate in this. Now, verse uh, 36. It says, And when they had sent away the multitude, they took uh, him even as he was in the ship, and there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a my pillow. And, oh no, on a pillow. And uh, they woke him and, and said to him, Master, care you not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind. And he said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? They had just heard how to operate in their faith. Amen. The multitudes heard the parable of the sower. They heard what they needed to do with the Word. They, they understood that they had to believe that the Word was the truth. They had to understand how to operate in it. 30, 60, 100 fold. They had, they had the ability to walk in 100 fold now. And, and what happens? Immediately, the enemy stole the Word. Immediately, the fowls of the air, the, literally it, it, it's translated, and you find out it's Satan. The demon's operation is to steal the word, and immediately they had no faith. Immediately they had no faith. What manner of man is this? That he can speak to the, the sea and the wind. Whoo! Yeah, and he said, we can speak to a mountain and the mountain's going to move. Come on. <laughs> I, I told this before, but boy, I'll tell you what, our, our little dog, Dallas, he hates the wind. If it's windy out, don't put him out. He is going to stand there and shake because the wind is blowing. <laughs> and, 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 and you think that's odd, but most of you stand out there and they're, oh my goodness, it don't. <laughs> there are a lot of people who are afraid of wind. Texas gets tornadoes. Well, I, I, I speak to those tornadoes. I speak to the wind. How I many know that wind is talking to you? That wind is telling you how it's going. You're going to die. <laughs> this is a bad situation. You better fear me. Well, no. That wind better fear you. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. Turn me over here to John chapter 8. John chapter 8. <clears throat> So the enemy comes in immediately to steal the word. John chapter 8, and let's go down here to uh, verse 28. John chapter 8, verse 28. Then said Jesus to them, <clears throat> When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am He. And that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father has taught me, I speak these things. <clears throat> and, he, and He that sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I do always those things that please Him. And, and, and let, let me tell you something. It's impossible to please, please God without faith. Verse 30, as he spoke these words, many believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if you, uh, 
continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth. Everybody say truth. truth. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Come on, somebody. You will know. How many know this word is his truth? How many know when you speak the word, you're speaking truth? You know that your circumstance is not based in truth? Your circumstance is based in the world and what's going on in the world and what's going on in, you know, life. But how many know that you're of a different kingdom? Amen. And so we're, we're learning here that, that God's word is truth. Amen. And the truth will make you free. Now go down here verse 43. John 8, 43. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot, cannot hear my word. You are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. How many know? A Cain. And abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. There is no truth in the devil. Everybody say zero. zero. Zip. Zip. Nada. Nada. <laughs> there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own. For he is a liar. And the father of it. Do you know what it means to be the father of lie, lies? That means he's the one that came up with it. It never entered into the thought of God the Father to lie. Because He bases everything in truth. Amen. That's right. Everything the Father does is in truth. And so the Father or the author of lies is the devil. Amen. And He is the one that, that operates in that. And there's no truth in Him at all. There's no truth in Him. He doesn't know how to tell the truth. He doesn't operate that way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. He's the author of lies. Oh, my, my, my. And, and if, if there was any truth in him, he'd be, he'd be free. Because the truth will make you free. But he is bound for eternity because there is no truth in him. There's no truth in the devil. He, he can't even get free. He'll be in the lake of fire forever and ever, and he'll be lying about it. Come on, somebody. He said, I'm not here. Yes, you are. <laughs> well, isn't it lying to say that, that when something's going wrong, that, that it's going to turn around and, 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 and it's going to be okay, and, and God's got a miracle for you? Well, absolutely, because you're not, you're not calling those things which be. You're calling those things which be not. You're calling the end from the beginning. That's not a lie. That's not lying. That's <clears throat> that's lining yourself up with truth. Yeah, <clears throat> the Word is more truth than your situation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews chapter 6. And go down here to uh, verse 17. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 17. Wherein God, willing more abundantly to show to the heirs of promise the immutability of His counsel, <coughs> the, unchange, the unchanging of His counsel, <coughs> excuse me, confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible, impossible, everybody say impossible, impossible. for God to lie. We might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enters into uh, that inside, inside the veil. Amen. So in other words, the hope we have in the truth is a surety of hope because it's based in truth. It's not based in the world's circumstances. It's not based in your circumstances. It's not based in anything that you're looking at. 
It's based in what the truth is. Come on, somebody. Amen. So we've got, we've got to understand the Word of God is the truth. Now, we, we say that, but when you're in a situation where everything's going wrong, you've got to believe the Word rather than your situation. Amen. Amen. You've got to believe that this Word is truth no matter if it sounds crazy. Because it is crazy to the world. Come on, somebody. God cannot lie. It says God cannot lie. God cannot lie. If He said, by His stripes you were healed, He cannot lie. If He said you're going to be blessed going in, blessed going out, He cannot lie. Come on, somebody. When he said you're redeemed of the curse, he cannot lie. Come on. We've got to get it so deep down in us. Turn with me to 1 John. 1 John chapter 5. Thank you, Lord. He cannot lie. God cannot lie. 1 John chapter 5. Go down here to verse 19. Thank you, Jesus. And we know that we are of God... And the whole world lies in wickedness. And we know that the Son of God is come and has given us an understanding that we may know Him that is true. And we are in Him that is true. Even in His Son, Jesus Christ, this is the true God and eternal life. Oh, my, 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 my. The whole world... The whole world is, is involved in the wickedness of the devil, and the wickedness of the devil is lies. The whole world. He, the devil is the prince of the world. He is the father of lies. He operates by lying to you. If, if you say, uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, I, I just believe that I, uh, you know, uh, my, my uh, you know, I can't even, I hardly can say this. I mean, somebody would say, <laughs> my arthritis, my diabetes, my what, whatever it might be, whatever the thing is. What have you done? You've now lined yourself up with the lie. Because God said you're healed. Amen. Matter of fact, you have divine health according to the Word of God. You are no longer subject to anything that's under the curse. And read Deuteronomy chapter 28. It explains very clearly what the blessing is and what the curse is. And every bit of sickness is under the curse. And not only sickness, but poverty is under the curse. So you cannot be poor. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Now, if all you do is teach, uh, well, you know, uh, all we teach is uh, how to get to heaven. Well, uh, then you're not concerned about what the Word says. But let me tell you something. You'll get to heaven soon enough, but right now you're here. Amen. And you need the truth. Amen. And you need the truth working in your life. Amen? Amen? We need the Word. We need the truth. Go back here with me. And Jesus is the truth. <laughs> Go back to 1 John. I mean, uh, Hebrews. Go back to Hebrews. <clears throat> Go back to Hebrews uh, chapter 12. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews chapter 12. And let's just start in verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run. Come on, somebody. Let us run. Let us run. Amen. Amen. With patience, the, the race that is set before us. Looking <clears throat> to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So if the devil is the author of lies, Jesus is the author of faith. Come on, somebody. Amen. Who, for the joy that was set before him, <coughs> endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand uh, of the throne of God. Come on, glory be to God. 
So we've got to lay aside every sin, uh, every, everything. Well, what is sin? Sin is anything that's contrary to the Word. That's right. yeah. uh, lying is a sin. Amen. Yeah. Lying is, is lining yourself up with how the world operates. Right. Well, I'll be there at 4 p.m. and you get there at 4.30. Well, you know, I didn't, I didn't mean that. Well, are you a person of your word? How, how many know that, that when, when you say you're going to be somewhere and you're not there, that's lying. I was getting quiet in here. Uh, do you know that, uh, uh, I, oh, I used to get this all the time. I'd call a pastor up, you know. And uh, if that pastor, for some reason, he couldn't afford to have me out or, or something, back when I traveled, um, I'd hear him in the background. Uh, tell him I'm, I'm not here. Oh, my word. <laughs> now, this is a pastor saying that. Tell him I'm not, I'm not, gonna call, I'm not, going, I'm not calling him again. Yeah. Why? Because I'm not going to line myself up with a liar. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. You see, there's something about lying that makes you a liar. And it's very, very hard to get your name back. Because right. once you are caught lying, people begin to think, I can't trust you. God cannot lie. Did you hear what I said? God cannot lie. Do you know that Christians should not be able to lie? Christians should not be able to lie at all. And how many know deceiving is the same thing as lying? Well, I'll just, I'll just step out. Hey, quick. <clears throat> go out. Go outside. Yeah, go out the door. Yeah. He's not here. <laughs> He's not. He's gone. Well, uh, <clears throat> technically. That's right. Technically. They're not at the house right now. Or in the house. <laughs> How many know if you start getting down that path, you, it, it, <laughs> somebody say, well, where is he? Now you've got to say a second lie because you've already told the first lie. Well, he's out. And now you're, you know, and it's, oh, where'd he go? Oh, oh you quit asking me. <laughs> but you find yourself in these things. And, and it could be as simple as something, uh, saying we'll, we'll be there at a certain time or, or we'll do this. And, and when you don't, and now I know there's times where things come up and there's traffic and there's this, that, and the other. But how many know that we should be striving and running this race so that we can uh, get to a point where the majority of the time, we, when we say we're going to do this or do that, we do it. Amen? Amen. Yeah. And so there, there has to be, there has to be something that changes in us when we become a Christian. That, that we are more like our Father in heaven than the Father of lies. Because the Father of lies is not my Father. And if you continue to deceive, to lie, to do this, to do that, well, it was so much easier, Pastor, it was easier to tell my wife uh, this because if I had said that, she would have been upset. And it was just better to not make her upset. <laughs> so I, I, I kind of fudged on the truth so that it didn't upset her. Well, you know what? If you, if you make up your mind and you just set it straight and you say, you know what? I'm never going to lie again and I'm never going to deceive again. E even if it goes to my peril. Yep. Even if it goes to a point where if I say it, I'm, I'm going to get grief through it all. Mm -hmm. Even though I know how to say it this way and, and they'll never know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, You're, you're, you're lining yourself up with the wrong father. That's right. You're lining yourself up. Well, it's, it's just the way we've always done it. That's just, we grew up this way. We, we, this is the way we, you know, we, we're not evil people. We, you know, uh, I didn't want to talk to that guy right now. Well, then just say, he can't talk right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> sure, there's some times where you can tell the truth about something, and it actually works better than the deceptive thing you were saying as the person standing outside the door. <laughs> Out in the rain. <laughs> so we've got, to get, we've got to get to a point in our lives where we just settle this thing. We are people of the Word. We are people of the truth. Amen. Come on, somebody. Well, what if I do that, Pastor? What if I do that and my wife gets all upset? Now, she'll begin to honor you after a while because she knows your word is your bond. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, it's getting quiet in here. <laughs> Jesus is the author of faith. The devil is the author of lies. He's the father of lies. Amen. You don't go by your circumstances. You create your future with the word with the truth what the truth really is come on somebody you were made in the image of God and he's truth faith is not intellectual uh, it, it, you know of the soul it's supernatural it's of the spirit faith sees through the fog of how to get down the path and not slip so that I can go forward and succeed in life. Truth is a part of succeeding in life. Amen. Well, I don't know. I, I was a real good salesman and, and, and we had to ha lie half the time. But, you know, that's just sales. <laughs> well, you know, I'm a politician and, 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 and I'm not We don't lie. We just do politics. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> that's why nobody likes a politician nowadays. Because they, they lie about just about everything. And now the media is doing the same thing. And that's why they, 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 well, I can even call it fake news. Why don't they just call them a bunch of liars? There's no truth in them. They've gotten to a point now where there's no truth at all. And, and uh, that's when it gets dangerous. Faith sees beyond all the obstacles and sees the truth of the Word of God and sees that this year is the greatest year of your life so far. Amen. That this year your steps are going to be ordered. Your steps are already ordered by the Lord, and that's the truth. Amen. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You can do all things through His truth. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Say, I am a believer. I am a believer. Not a doubter. Not a doubter. I, believe I believe the truth. The truth. And the truth, and the truth makes me free. Makes